We're going to quickly run through some bin mass problems just to get our uh, operations straight. So the first one we got 7 minus brackets 1 plus 2 multiplied by 4. Okay, we'll write out the little uh, acronym here. So brackets come first, so we do the operation in the brackets first, so whatever it is. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and then we multiply. Uh, then we still got the 4 on the outside and this 4 next to the brackets means multiply so we could put little times there uh, I'll just put this in brackets, I did it to indicate the multiplication but uh, now I've got a cross there anyway ok so next we do the multiplication so this is equal to 7 minus 3 times 4 which is 12 and all we've got left to do is a subtraction so 7 minus 12 is minus 5 ok next up we have um, 9 plus 6 divided by 2. Okay, so the D stands for division. Bear in mind, the D and the M are equal. So for these ones, we just work left and right. And the same for addition and subtraction, we just work left and right. Um, and so we do the division first here. Okay, so we have 9 um, plus well, 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 and adding those together we get 12 nice and easy next one we have 4 minus 2 times 3 plus 7 so we do this multiplication first so we get 4 um, minus 6 plus 7 and like I say, with addition and subtraction, it doesn't matter which way around you do it, you can do it either way, but we will just work uh, from left to right. So we get 4 minus 6, that's minus 2, plus 7, we get 5. Okay, and our final problem for this video, we're going to do 3 plus 2 to the power of 4. There's no uh, real confusion here. The question is really, do we do 3 plus 2 and raise that to the power of 4? or 2 to the power of 4, then add 3, and this i here stands for what, indices if you want, um, and this is what we call an indice, so i stands for, okay, so this 4 is what the i stands for, so this is equal to 3 plus 2 to the power of 4, so 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that's 16, so this is equal to 19. And the question is why do we need bit mass and why do we need these rules? Well, it is to just do avoid confusion. So, this statement can be read multiple different ways. Um, well, just two different ways in this case, but you could do the 9 plus the 6, then divide by the 2, or the 6 divided by 2, add 9, and you get different results. So, you have to specify which one is the convention so that when we write down maths and um, we're not there to explain our working out to other people, everyone can follow because we're all following the same rules okay so that's the purpose of order of operations thank you for watching this video um, subscribe for more math tutorials and like the video if you did enjoy because any support on the channel is much appreciated um, thank you very much for watching as i say and i hope to see you in the next one